make the presentation. Our next induction is in the team category. The Thompson High School Boys Curling Team 1957-1958. The Thompson High School boys curling team from North Sydney did something in the late 50s that very few teams accomplished, and that was to win back-to-back -back provincial headmaster schoolboy curling titles. The 1957 Thompson rink was made up of Skip Allen Kennedy, made Paul Rice, second George Rowe, and lead Bill Uden. In 1958, Rice had graduated and Les Hare joined the winning team. They were coached by George Chapman, and faculty advisors included Sammy Way in 1957 and Alex Gilchrist in 1958. The community support was evident in 1957 when the North Sydney Ring defeated Queen Elizabeth High School of Halifax 8-6 in Truro for the provincial crown and qualified for the national championship in Winnipeg. Local resident Archie Johnson started off the Northside Schoolboy Curlers Fund, and local residents raised $1,040 to help send the team out west. In 1957, the Northside Foursome finished their first national tourney with a record of 4-6. And, and then in 1958, the North Sydney Boys beat Lewenberg 11-6 in Yarmouth to win the Nova Scotia Championship and then the Thompson squad went on to finish third at the National Championship in Charlottetown with a record of six and four. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1957-1958 Thompson High curling teams.
the teachers, and the community. This was a community effort. Um, I mentioned that there was a, uh, the first year, there was a lot of money raised, over $1,000. That was a lot of money in those days in order to send us to Winnipeg to uh, participate in the Nationals. At this time, the team would like to recognize a very, very special person, a great person, our, court, uh, our coach, George Chapman. He spent many hours with us discussing strategies and the technical aspects of curling. And he was very, very quick to point out that as individuals, we were quite different, each with specific strengths and weaknesses. And I suspect, I haven't talked to you guys about this, but I suspect that none of us really appreciated the significance of that. Because George took four young fellows who had been curling for two years. We started curling two years before we formed this team. And uh, we, were, we were indeed quite different. We had different styles, we delivered the rocks differently, but the only thing that we had the same were the pan shovel brooms that we used in those days. A little bit different than the brush they use these days. So, he was as a coach trying to get us to maximize our potential. And he took on that by dealing with the human side of the equation. He led us to recognize and accept our differences and to be, uh, develop a mutual trust and respect for each other. As a result, we were able to learn from one another. We were able to complement one another, both in our skills on the ice and off the ice. And as a team, decisions just sort of came easy because we were so focused on the desired results because after all, we just accepted that we were different. So we were focused on the results. And lucky for us, we achieved some of those. Some of those were great. So to the guy here standing up on the stage, and to a great person, George Chapman, to the selection committee, the Sports Hall of Fame, thank you very, very much for this great honor.